I feel like that spit would not reach. But also disgusting. May I see in the kitchen for a minute? Yeah. I don't want you hey, dating him, yes. she's gonna say. Mom, this is Logan. Well, you two in the kitchen, do you mind if I use your computer for a second? I just wanna check some fantasy scores. It's in the den. <laughs> Why in capitals? I'm confused. Honey, open your eyes. The guy's bad news. That guy looks just right. Is it Donny? Or whatever his name is? Yeah, it is. The investigator. What's his name? Vince? You were thrown out of the happy horseshoe the other night for stalking her. Maybe he was, was investigating it? her on A Paul's behalf or something. background check. All I hear is let's have sex. So? Hmm. Is he, I don't know. Is he feeling a bit weird because he's using her and then like, uh, I don't know. This whole thing is making me a bit like, I don't know what's happening because I don't know his true feelings. Now, why would he keep that damning evidence at all? And yes. the second question, why would he keep them where they were sure to be found? Valid questions. I'll be sure and ask him when he gets out of surgery. Surgery? surgery. Who shot him? You know, the uh, journalism teacher who died on the bus? Her father. He caught Terrence Cook breaking into the family home in San Francisco. Strange behavior for an innocent man, don't you think? <laughs> She's gonna say something now, again. Oh. Palo Alto, <laughs> California. Hey, Dad. Your missing person is a little less missing. She Turn used off? her cell phone twice this morning, both one minute calls. Paul Mann, know who that is? Her fiance. Yeah. Beyonce. Do they run away together? What if Heidi's still in town? What if she's just hiding from her family? Disconnected. Does Heidi have a fax? Yeah. Oh, fax. Somewhere. She would have heard the fax tone on the first call and then switched over the machine. I don't understand how the fax, fax machine, machine works, so... Capability. Who'd be faxing her at three in the morning? That's what I'd like to know. It's like an invitation to a party or something. Some flyer from a band. That's Nick's band. Heidi's old boyfriend. The one whose name she had... Well, I think that's where she's gone. She thought you had some bad pre-wedding jitters, and then we found your car abandoned. As in parked, like, 30 feet from the bus station? The wedding was off. Then I get these text messages from my friend Kim telling me she saw him leaving his ex's place at dawn. I didn't send that fax. <sighs> Who was it? And Kim didn't text message you. Well, then who? A private detective named Vinnie Van Lo. But, but why? Why? I'm so confused. <laughs> so is she just getting married now because it was all fake? I, I demand to know what you've been up to. Mm, don't get married. I didn't ask you what you were doing for your bachelor party. Occasional guitar player. I don't think you should marry him anyway. The important thing is that Except we like love dick. each other. How can you expect me to love a used up groupie like you? Wow. Ouch, honey. Kind of harsh. I guess I'll be keeping this precious family heirloom because those are the rules and polite society aren't they i mean if i backed out or didn't show up i'd have to give you the ring back right you could have just said it's over and i would have given you the ring back by the looks of it i guess the elder mr man commissioned the background check but it was his son that couldn't live with the information okay <laughs> what are you doing for aaron are you grabbing hair Blah. No, I really have a thing about shower drains and stuff. Do you have company? I'll make my testimony go away. What about the Fitzpatricks? Let me worry about them. You just stay the hell away from my daughter. I don't think so. I think he's kind of caught some kind of affection for her. Especially because they probably slept together. And now he's going to ditch her. Ah, uh, it's always fun, isn't it? Guess you never know where true love's going to find you. If it comes looking for me... I'll be over by the espresso He's like gonna walk in now or something. <laughs> hey. Ah! <laughs> I was half joking, half wanting it to happen, and boom. Found it. Well, based on what she just said, and then him coming in, something's gonna happen in the next episodes with him. Um, also, we're at the end here, and he's gonna ask her for something, so let's have a listen. I think I've done something horrible. Yeah, like used a girl. I don't know if that's what he means, but that was pretty shitty of you to do. <laughs> but I don't know if that's what it is. Okay, so I did enjoy that episode. I got what I wanted, really. There was a bit of information about Terrence and like a little and bus crash and everything. 
but it was mainly about Logan which and Felix's case and everything and his upcoming trial and everything and there was even a little little implant thing there of Eccles and he wants Logan's hair for something because I realized maybe he's going to try and frame him now for Lily's murder somehow but would Kendall do that if he was paying her she would Mm, I don't know what's happening there. I'm just going to have to wait and see. But grabbing someone's hair for DNA is never a good sign. <laughs> and him going to Veronica saying, I think I've done something horrible is, in my guess, you know, infiltrating his life, infiltrating himself, sorry, into Hannah's life to get to her dad to drop the testimony and stuff. And then like sleeping with her and leading her on. I think that's what he's referring to, unless there's something else that we were, didn't see um or I'm just not picking up on so that one's just gonna have to be left for another time unfortunately to find out what that is all about I'm really confused with the whole bridal thing and Vinny's involvement in it I did he do it because it seems like his dad hired him to look into her past told his son and he didn't like it and deal with it and couldn't deal with it as Veronica was saying but he wanted him to go through with the wedding but it seems like Vinny was trying to like break him up to get his bonus I'm very confused by that I can't tell if it would be confusing normally if I'm just tired but please let me know because I don't think I'm gonna piece that together until this comes out so let me know Thanks. <laughs> that was a thumbs up, by the way. That's kind of in the microphone. Wait. <laughs> Sorry. I am assuming next episode with how it ended, it's going to be very Veronica and Logan heavy. And probably some more information um, with Eccles and Kendall, Kendall, I guess. I don't really know where that's going, but we'll wait and see. I don't really know. It will be episode 16, wouldn't it? Because that was just 15. It'll be episode 16, so getting there. But there's still always time for a bit of a filler <laughs> episode or something. I don't know. We're going to have to wait and see. But I don't really have anything else to add or I can think of at the moment. So I'm just going to end this one here. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe so you don't miss out on the rest of the series reaction. And you can also check out some of my other content. I also do have a Patreon link down in the description if that's something that you wanted to check out. If not, that's absolutely cool. Thank you so much for just supporting me either way. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.